Today we are on finance lesson 56. Let's go ahead and start with the review of chart 11. O says uh, 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 in shovel. A says uh, 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 in banana. C says s, s, s in city. A U says uh, 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 in faucet. A W says uh, 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 in saw. E A says E, E, E in leaf. E A says eh, eh, eh. In thread, E A says A A A in steak, I E says E E E in brownie, E Y says E E E in key, E Y says A A A in obey, P H says in phone, C H says k k k in chorus, O U G H T says arts 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 in thought. A U G H T says arts 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 in cart. G says j j j and giant. D G E says j j j in bud. So this is phonics chart twelve. So let's go ahead and begin to go over. A says uh 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 in a sleep. A L says all 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 in also. B E says b b b and because E N says in 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 enjoy U N says un 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 in unbutton W R says rr 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 in wrinkle O U L D says ud 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 in could A I R says air 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 in hair U says uh 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 in push, O U G H says uff 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 in enough, O U says uff 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 in country, A R R says air 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 in carry, I R E says ire 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 in fire. All right, so this is what chart twelve looks like. So today we will start with our first sounds on chart twelve. So on chart nine and chart ten as well, we were introduced to what was called a suffix. Remember, suffixes went at the end of a word. Remember, we had suffixes like ed, ing, y, er, est, es, ed, all the different three eds. So, suffixes went at the end of words. Now, if you look at these here on chart 12, you can see that they all have that hyphen as well. But suffixes have the hyphen in front of it these have the hyphens in the back. That's because they are something different. They are what we call prefixes. Prefixes, say that, prefixes. Prefixes go at the beginning of a word. So suffixes will go to the end. Prefixes go at the beginning of the word. So I have like a, uh, look at that, uh, sleep. So just like with root words, in order for a sound to be a prefix, it has to have a root word. It cannot be a prefix and it, didn't, it doesn't have a root word. So prefixes also attach to the front of a root word. So you will have your root word, your prefix will go at the beginning of it to make it into a new word. So today we will look at prefix A that says a uh, and prefix AL that says all. So we mark them the same way we do suffixes. We underline the root word, but then we circle the prefix. So look at these here. So I have a, a, uh, a, l, all. So we know that our prefix is a, a, uh, so the root word has to be round. The word is around. Next one, prefix is a, l, all. Root word is ways. The word is always. Prefix a, a, root word board. The word is a board. Next, a, l, all. Root word is ready. All ready. Next, prefix, I'm sorry, uh, yes, prefix a, uh, root word is live. A, uh, live. Prefix a, l, all. Root word most. All. Uh, most. Let's read them. Around, always, aboard, already, alive, almost. So this is how you mark root words and prefixes. 
So remember, suffixes went at the end of the word, but a prefix will go at the beginning of a word. So that's all these five here. A, uh, all, be, in, un. These are what we call prefixes. They go at the beginning of a word. So now we know suffixes and now we know prefixes. So what's important is to know the difference between the two. And so suffix, end of a word, prefix, beginning of a word. So we will practice some more prefixes on this week. We will do it all this week just so we can get used to it. But it's pretty easy because we mark it the same. Underline the word, circle the prefixes. Okay, so you can do your workbook pages 111 and 112 on today. That's our phonics lesson.